Uh, here's an update on uh, the radial engine. Yep. We haven't been doing much because this is only a part-time project. You know, we got nothing else to do. Yep. That's uh, part of the oil pump. You're right. Was that the sump mic? Well, this is going to be the uh, the oil uh, pump mounting block. Here's the pump right here. I've trimmed it all down, and uh, you can see well pretty much where it sits here. Right now, I'm threading the mounting hole. There's going to be one, two, three mounts for it, and this little you know, I guess you'd call it almost a bearing. Uh, you know, ride uh, sits inside that locator hole there, holds it stationary. Um, th that hole passes all the way through, and I've already reamed that to accept the uh, the pump drive shaft here. Right. So that's gonna come up inside that block like that and drive the pump. But uh, yeah, just give me a few minutes. I'll get these rest of these holes tapped out, and I'll you know I'll put it together and I'll spin the pump. You guys see what it sees, uh, what it looks like. I haven't drilled any of the ports yet. That's a whole nother day in right, itself. Right. Right. Just uh, as you can see, there's this is the what would be the inlet port back here, the top port, and then would be the outlet port would be at the bottom. So there's going to be two corresponding, uh, you know, uh, cutouts, oval cutouts on the, either side of this hole here. Uh, the outlet port's just going to have a, a fitting right here. The inlet port's going to be interesting because it can't come straight back because there's a mounting hole here. So it's going to inside the aluminum block. There's going to be a port. The the, uh, the Drilling will have to run out this way, through this way, and then it's going to have to go down, which in reality would be up, and the, the inlet is going to be down at the bottom of this block here, but you can't see it. So it's going to be an interesting thing, you know, I'm going to have to drill it a couple different ways and plug the uh, holes up where I've drilled it, of course, just to get them to intersect inside the block. So that'll be a fun, a fun project, a fun step. All right, we'll uh, keep tapping that and... Uh, We'll get back to you when you're done with that and you can show these guys. I just want to give an update because a lot of guys have been asking about this. I think we gave up on it, but we just don't have time. We're, I don't know, you know. Mike's got a new house and uh, he's pretty pretty much uh, tied up with that. And yeah. I've had the coop lately and little uh, Razor's had the boat. We've all had a... Yeah, I mean, a little dirt bike. I don't know what the hell he's been doing, but uh, we've all been busy. All right, keep going, buddy. All right. All right, Mike, what'd you get done here? All right. Well, the uh, the oil pump body is mounted on the on the block now. Yeah, I don't um, know if that guys know, but you really you really cut that to pieces. You, you cut off like ninety percent of the, the oil pump there. Yeah, it was a you know it, it had a, it had a flange and yeah. something here. But yeah, I trimmed it all down just so it looks a little bit better. It does. Um, yeah. So it, there's obviously the, a cover plate right here, which goes on uh, sits on there like that. But I just wanted to bolt it up and make sure everything moves freely. Yeah. Um, Pump drive shaft goes down through that hole. Uh, it's got the notch cut on it. Look at that! You reamed that out too. Slow down, slow down, buddy. I just, the camera will pick it up when you you yeah. snap it. Yeah. So that turn around. You actually reamed that hole out, so that's almost like a bushing. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. You can wow, listen. That. Yeah. Pull out again. Listen. Yeah. So it's it's that's pretty tight. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty snug fit there. Um, and then that uh, comes through. You have that cut. Yeah. The uh, that that. That pin in the center, which is moving there, if I'll pull that out. That's got a, a fork in it there, and that's what that's what the coupling, oop, that's what the shaft meets up to. Right. Is that right there on the inside? So that goes sits in there. It drives the inner uh, inner spline, and the outer spline just rotates around with it. I haven't cut any of the ports yet. That's a project for next week. So. Right. Yeah, that's going to be a whole project in itself. Yeah, that's another day's worth of. Uh, Worth of drilling and measuring and all that stuff, but but that looks pretty good. Um, really, the block is going to sit like this. The oil tank is going to be right here, and then the the drive shaft will be up to the crankshaft gear, and there'll be a, a 45 degree uh, bevel gear driving the pump. So it's going to be running at crankshaft speed. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, but, at least uh, we gave these guys an update. You know, a lot of them been asking me about this for months. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. It's not much, but uh, that's all we got. You know, like I say, it's yeah. only a part-time project, and that's right. At least it's something. Yeah. That's it. You know, we only put a little, maybe so, an hour or two in, right. so in a week. It stays there until next week. That's it. And if we don't get it next week, then we'll get the week after. Yep. And if you don't get the week after than that, we'll get a week after that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. All right. Enough of that, tubes. See you, Mike. See you later.